electronic stability program. This crash avoidance technology intervenes instantly should the vehicle go into a skid or no longer respond to the driver's steering intention and brings it safely back on track. Let's take a look at the safety benefits of ESP in practice. First, a simulation setup featuring a vehicle without ESP. The truck parked at the side of the road is blocking the view of the approaching vehicle. Only by swerving quickly can a collision be avoided. But due to this abrupt steering maneuver, the vehicle starts to skid. Let's take a look at the same situation from different angles. Now let's look at the simulation, but this time we'll use a vehicle with ESP. ESP reacts instantly and prevents the vehicle from skidding. Let's take a look at the demonstration of ESP on a test track. Here's an XUV500 without ESP attempting to avoid a suddenly appearing obstacle, a common occurrence on Indian roads. For safety purposes, outriggers have been used. Now let's look at the same maneuver but this time with ESP. ESP prevents skidding. ESP saves lives. Global studies have proven that ESP prevents skidding accidents by up to 80%. In fact, ESP is the best active safety system a vehicle can have. How does ESP work? ESP, the Electronic Stability Program, counteracts skidding at an early stage. It does so by activating the brakes and if necessary by engine interventions. ESP comprises the following components. A speed sensor on each wheel. A yaw rate sensor which measures the vehicle's rotation around its vertical axis. A steering angle sensor which registers the driver's steering intention. Sensor signals which enable the control unit to compute when and how it should intervene and a hydraulic unit which builds up and reduces braking pressure on the brakes. Let's look at a simulation setup on the test track with a vehicle with ESP. What happens during the steering maneuver? The driver has to suddenly swerve to the right but the vehicle does not respond to the driver's steering intention. The vehicle understeers, heading straight towards the obstacle. ESP briefly brakes the right rear wheel very sharply. This produces the desired countering force so that the vehicle responds as the driver intended. What happens during counter steering? When the driver turns the steering wheel to keep the vehicle in the right lane, after avoiding the obstacle, the vehicle tends to oversteer. The rear end swerving to the right. The torque to the left is too high. In this case, ESP breaks the right front wheel. The torque is reduced. Instead of going into a skid, the vehicle stays on course, thanks to ESP. ESP enables various